um, hello guys uh, today I'm going to show you how to install SQL server in your machine regardless of your operating system because I'm going to use docker all right gets let's get started uh, first of course you have to install your docker if you don't have docker uh, you can download it from docker hub okay so let me uh, install the SQL server basically the command is like it's very simple you just uh, paste this command docker run then the name of the image which is this you can even search this image from the docker hub okay then you specify whatever password you want then of course uh, you can use the default uh, port which is 1433 right this actually this is a default mapping so that we can access uh, the sql server database outside the docker okay so basically that's all then hit enter then of course your password then it will download from the docker hub the image all right so uh, we need to test this all right so you 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 might want to download some uh, uh, database client like uh, db beaver in my case i i downloaded it this is a community version you can download this from uh, db beaver uh, website it's free okay so uh, now let me show you how to uh, connect to this SQL server okay uh, let's wait a bit to complete basically we just need to create a connection yeah okay it's complete already right so once it's complete already let me check if it's up and running docker ps there we go the status is up okay this is the in the image okay so let me test that uh, uh, server let me create a connection here we choose a SQL server okay so uh, for SQL server normally the default there is default username yeah and the default username is uh, SA which stands for system administrator okay so, so we use the, the default uh, system administrator user which is SA and the password the one we specify here when we download the image this one we use this password number nine okay right so let me test see successful right you can connect to the server then let me connect and browse the database the default uh, databases so by default there is a master database you can see the schema the tables these are the default tables okay so I think that's all guys thank you for watching this video and uh, see you again uh, happy learning Bye-bye.